Hello my small subscriber base and welcome to another video. And today I wanted to kind of deviate away from what I've been doing recently, which I really like doing. I like doing these kind of quote unquote tutorials, walkthroughs of how you can, you know, start collecting and um, how to get the best value out of what you're going to buy online. So I wanted to kind of supplement that with a newer series that I may or may not continue. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not as into the super, super rare stuff. I don't know what you would call it. Community. Ah, whatever. Um, but anyway, um, this is going to be a new series that I may or may not post regularly called rare stuff you can find on Japanese sites or something similar you will see that in the title whatever so I'm going to talk about five today and I'll try to talk about five in the future if I do decide that this is something that I really want to do so without further ado let's get started so just to start off I will be covering one very obscure CD, two Hyper Dimension Neptunia items, and two Love Live items. It's not very balanced. I know I'm sorry, but my knowledge is strongest in these areas, and I wanted to start off this series kind of with something that I can actually talk about on length, in length, with length, whatever. My English is terrible, obviously. But anyway... I know plenty of more, but these are the ones that I thought stood out the most. Not in terms of necessarily rarity, but community value and actual value. So, whatever you deem them to be, you will definitely find them in... to be some value. Terrible. Anyway, I did leave out one, I was... Including another six, but that'll be another video. Okay, I should probably just start. Okay, let's get on with it So right now I'm on this Yahoo auctions Japan page Because that is going to be our source for some of our products, but I have all the tabs laid out up here Do not judge me for having this Facebook thing up here. I have a reason for it. Damn it Okay, so the first one we're going to be starting with is a CD as I mentioned it is called Electro sinker. Don't don't focus on that. I mean, okay. My point is, okay, this is a CD by a group called Electro Monster. Why don't we look them up? See, I'm not lying. Electro sinker. Here we have it. So, Electro sinker is a very rare album. It was released. On a very limited batch. I'm not exactly sure when it was. I probably should have researched this, but I don't research many of my videos. My point is, this has a lot of songs that are pretty well known amongst Electro Singer fans, or Electro Muster fans, excuse me. Um, personally, I love everything he does. When I say he, I mean Taishi. He's kind of one of the main guys who does a lot of the Electro Muster stuff. Like I said, yes, it's Electro Muster. So if you're curious of what Electro Muster does, um, I know I'm clicking on the first link, but um, this is pretty accurate. Um, fuck, all these are pretty accurate. Electro Sinker probably has what I'm looking for, yes. Dreamwalker, Blue Liner, Rain's Call, Fall and Snow, Personalizer. This whole album is brilliant. Um, you know, everything else they have, the Personalizer is also amazing. But I'm going to try to not go too far into this because I oftentimes kind of just ramble. But why is this rare? Because it's really fucking rare. So on Amazon US... This is $650 for one CD, which I completely disagree with. I mean, I would pay $100, $150 bucks for this. I'm not going to lie, but this is 
completely obscene. I have P I R A T E it, but I want this physically, but I would not pay this obscene price for it. So if we look at the Japan side, so I will magically change tabs to Japan. Oh yeah, I know my research guys. See Electro Sinker, this is my 39,800 yen is a bit more than $400. Still ridiculous, but this is, if you can't read, Nihongo used. Used, yes. Wait, what? The fuck? Okay, never mind. So yeah, that's a $200 difference. My point is, this is a very rare and clearly sought-off CD because Taishi is brilliant. I really love his music. I'm not a huge fan of the whole... I'm very hesitant to say dubstep. But the kind of music he produces replicates it in some parts. And other parts are just tech. But if you're interested in that, he has some great music. Go check out Dreamwalker... Dreamwalker is high notch, very, very uh, blue liner and um, personalizer are what I would recommend. But don't buy this fucking CD for $650. This is why this is so rare. Okay, moving on. I don't want to get too angry. Two hour, two hyperdimension ne Neptunia items. Second one, the Vert Garage Kit from Hyperdimension Neptunia. So Vert is the goddess that represents the uh, Xbox console, Microsoft, in the uh, Neptunia games. She is, I hate to say this ironically or unironically, or however, I, I hate to say this word in general, but she's the gamer of the series. But she does represent that gamer's personality so well. So Vert is... I don't know how to explain her, honestly. You have to play the game to explain her, but I'm not going to explain the character. I'm here to explain the item. So she's in this garage category. category. So um, garage kits are very rare. Um, only rare if it is the limited run versions, which are at Runfest. Or a similar convention. There are some uh, pretty high quality garage kits you can purchase um, online. So you want to pay out the ass for them. But why do I want to talk about this one? Because I consider this one to be the white whale of um, garage kits for well, everything. Not, not just Neptunia. I mean, I've been following this thing for almost six years. Yes, it's crazy. Let's, I mean, I'm just going to look at more comments just to kind of give you... I remember most of these. That's completely unnecessary. Ignore these stupid ads. I'm not... This garage kit is non-existent. I swear they only produced 10. She's never going to be on Yahoo Auctions Japan or Mandrake. I would pay a very large amount of money for one if she ever appeared or is anyone willing to sell. You're right. And this could lead me into a discussion about how garage kits are way too expensive and way too rare and stupidly limited. Like, I could probably extend this video another 20 minutes talking about how much I hate the exclusivity of garage kits, but... I'm going to hold back just for this because I want to make this a relatively not stupidly long video. But this, what I want to portray is that two things. This garage kit is so rare that I have never seen it on the internet anywhere. And I've done a lot of research, trust me. I've seen some very rare Neptunian ones, but not once have I seen Vert. I mean, what? No, it, no, it's yeah, it's 
six and a half years old, it's probably never going to come back. Let's move on to something more lighthearted and more encouraging. It's in the same universe, Neptunia. Neptune Android. Again, I apologize for all these ads. Um, I'm using incognito. So fuck me. Anyway, um, this is Neptune. The only Neptunian Android. And it is a fantastic Android. One of the few that doesn't make me angry. That's the wrong word, but the point is a lot of Nendoroids can be very frustrating to put together with Neptune. She's very clean to put together, very accurate of the source representation. I think they did a fantastic job with this one, but the only problem is it's exclusive. As you can see here, how? Oh wait, it doesn't include that anymore. She was exclusive to the final volume of the Hyperdimension Neptunia Japanese Hula Ray series, aka you had to buy, I believe you had to buy all six at some store, and the seventh, you would get the seventh volume with Neptune. I want to say gamers, but it could be, I'm not saying gamers, ironically, I mean the store gamers. It could be soft map, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's not very clear right here. But as you can see, I mean, in these just very generic partners, 17,800 yen, even more than that. Um, I don't really want to get too far into the comments, but when I first bought it about three years ago, um, you know, twelve to thirteen thousand, I believe, was a very common price. But I got mine for about eight, because this guy was desperate to get his hands off of it, and I was on it. So I do own this actually. Um, I do own one. I do own not one, but two of the very exclusive Nendos. Another one, which I'll probably cover if I ever make a second edition of this. But yes, this is a very hard to find Nendo for cheap why do, why did i include this because of the price to what it is ratio stupid i sounding i know but nendoroids aren't that big you know most nendoroids go for 30 to 40 bucks maybe 50 if it's a more exclusive you know i don't know what do you call it money hungry franchise so this probably would have gone for 40 to 50, I would guess, because Neptunia is niche yet not. I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so we've gone over three so far. So what are the last two? Love Live. I love talking about this shit. And I've got two pretty cool ones for you. Um, one I have personal experience with, and one that I found to be just very, very interesting. That is that led me to something else. So here's the first one. This is a drawing of, if you cannot tell, it's Sakurachi Rico. So why is this so expensive? This is a drawing from Kazutoma Mia. I believe that's the correct name. I'm terrible sometimes with this, um, but he, they, I'm, I'm just going to say they, I believe it's a he, is a very notable light novel artist, manga artist. I'm not sure if it's manga. I know they're a well-known artist. I don't want to embarrass myself. My point is I know that they're a very popular artist, talented, well-known. They can do fantastic work. Why is that relevant? Well, because of the price. 150,000 yen. That's... Uh, I'm not going to look up the volume right now, but... Um, if I had to guess, 
I would say about 140,000 US dollars. No, not 140,000. Oh my god. Help me, guys. I'm losing my sanity. 1,400 US dollars. For a drawing of the upper half of Rico's body. And undoubtedly, this is a fantastic just sketch. I mean, it's got a signature when it was drawn. But would I pay that much for it? Hell no. You can find better versions of this. No offense to the artist, of course. I'm digging myself a hole here on Pixiv or whatever. Or whatever site you browse. Or pretty much the same or better quality. I mean, I'm a bit of a hypocrite here. I have some... Um, I have some Watanabe Yo Sankuro physical art, so I'm very judgmental here. But I thought this was an interesting addition because the price and the fact that it's such a simple thing. I'm going to be keeping track of this. I have been for a few weeks now, but if this actually sells, I will be very ecstatic because I love when... Random stuff like this sells for stupid amounts of money. Okay, yeah, okay. I just, uh... Anyway. Okay, um, on to our last item. I'm sorry, I know it's getting close to the end. The Love Live. Los Angeles. Anime Expo. Penblade. World Love Live. Now this is clearly... It's literally one tenth the price, but people want this more than that drawing. Now, this is what it's called a pen's blade or a king's blade or whatever you call it. It is a glow blade that, if you push this, the center button and these two left and right buttons, you can swap between the Love Live Sunshine Girls colors, depending on who you represent or want to support or whatever. I own two of these. I do own this one. It is unwrapped. I would show it. Maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to edit this video. If I do, it will be a miracle if I actually managed it because my editing is shit. But anyway, um, yes, this is a blade that was only purchasable at the Anime Expo I believe 2018. I may be wrong. I always say that, but anyway. You can only purchase this at the um, storefront before the concert. So, I didn't live in Los Angeles at the time, nor have I ever. So, I had won some lottery for someone... You know, you know, this person said, I'm going to buy this, or I'm going to offer to buy this, but you have to pay. Which is, uh, that, that's reasonable. Just post your name. And I won. So I paid this person. And they sent it to me. Maybe I'm too trusting. But the point is, not the fact that, you know, this is rare, but this is what it originally went for. Yes, I know I'm using Facebook. Don't judge me. 45 bucks, which is still expensive compared to like 30 bucks for a t-shirt. That is this. That's not bad. But yeah, I think I've seen these go for more than that. Um, it's really, really blurry in my opinion. But I don't know. Maybe I'll add on some weird pen blade shit to my video. I don't know. But as for this, five things, five rare things that you can find on Japanese merch websites, this was fun. I enjoyed doing this. So, again, as I always say, I know I have a very small viewer base, but if you like this, you know, 
I've got a lot more usable content if I just look through my backlog. But I thought this was a good, very easy, gentle start. Yes, this was a gentle start. So, if you liked it, great. If you didn't, whatever. If I post in the next few days, whatever. Don't judge me. So guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in another video. Have a good night. See you later.